Welcome to Cutting with Kids. My name is Kalia. I'm Isaac Andrew. Today we're going to teach you about that. So today we're going to learn about regular expressions. So regular expressions is a tool that tries to find a pattern in our sentences. So for example, if you want to sign up in a website, there might be requirements for a password like underscores and uppercase letters. So first we're going to do import re, which is regular expressions. Then we're going to do pattern equals read.comply, Andrew and Kalia. So Andrew and Kalia, it will try to find Andrew and Kalia in our sentences. Then we're going to do print read.search. So search is a function that will try to search our pattern, in, which is Andrew and Kalia, in our sentence. So our first sentence is Andrew likes Minecraft. So we're going to save it. And run. So it did read.match object because it found Andrew in the sentence. Span equals zero to six, so it tells us the span. That that means which where it is in the sentence, and there's index zero. So there's one, I mean zero, one, two, three, four, five, and six. Okay. Then it tells us the match is Andrew because it can't find Kalia inside our sentence. <coughs> Next, the sentence we're gonna try is, I think Kalia likes it too. So now we're gonna save it and run. So did read.match object again. The span now is 8 to 13. And the match is Kalia because I can't find Andrew in it. Last, we're going to do print read.search pattern. Welcome to Coding with Kids. So now we'll save it and finally run. So did none because I can't find Andrew or Kalia inside the pattern. So it returns none. Then we're going to print, we're going to do def, which is fine. Validate email your pattern. Pattern equals read.compile your pattern. Then we have a list called emails with free emails, which we are going to try this function on. Andrew at gmail.com, Kalia at hotmail.net, and YouTube at minecraft.minecraft. So then we're going to do a for loop for each email in the list emails. If not, read.match pattern email. So if it doesn't match the pattern, it will print fail to match then the email. Else, it will print valid email address. <laughs> Then we're going to do pattern. So there's a pattern you can do A to Z and capitalize A to Z, 0 to 9, and a bunch of symbols. Then there's a dot. And validate email pattern. So we're going to save it and run. So it did valid email address, valid email address, and valid email address. So all of our email address were valid to this pattern. Make sure we're going to change the pattern. So after the dot, it was supposed to be W plus. But now, after the dot, we change it to .com, .net, or .org to pass. Then we're going to do validate email pass. So we're going to save it and run. So the valid email address, valid email address, and then fail to match YouTube at Minecraft.Minecraft. Because this email, after the dot, it doesn't have a .com, .net, or .org. It has Minecraft, so it didn't match. So it did fail to match YouTube at Minecraft.Minecraft. Well, that was fun, and that's it for today. Thank you for watching. Remember to smash the like button and subscribe. Bye-bye.